Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Windows 11 ISO file directly from Microsoft. So Windows 11 was officially released to the public today, October 5th, 2021. And I'm just going to show you guys how to go about downloading the ISO file. So whether you want to burn it to a DVD or a USB flash drive or you just want to have in, on your system. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about getting that directly from Microsoft. And the ISO file is about four and a half gigabytes in size, so just keep that in mind. So if you have a flash drive, I believe Microsoft recommends it's at least eight gigabytes in size in order to have it if you want to make it a bootable USB flash drive with the Windows 11 installation media on it. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. We're going to open up Microsoft Edge for today's tutorial here. And we're going to go ahead and paste in a link I'm going to have in the description of the video here, guys, to the Windows 11 download page. If you guys are familiar with the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility, this is very similar, if not almost identical, in process as well as the appearance. So just go ahead and paste it into the URL address bar here and just go ahead and search for it. Okay, so go ahead and now scroll down and select where it says download Windows 11 disk image. This option is for the users that want to create a bootable installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or create a virtual machine ISO file to install Windows 11. This download is a multi-edition ISO which uses your product key to unlock the correct edition. Go ahead and select just the Windows 11 option, it's the only drop down option there. And then you would select download. So before I do that, just if you're trying to just install it on your personal computer, like this is your device you want to install Windows 11 on, you may want to just consider creating the Windows 11 installation media option. So some people might get confused about whether they want an ISO or they just want to update their version of Windows. So select the download button and then select the product language here and then select the blue confirm button. and select the 64-bit download option. And give it a moment here.
Okay, so there you go, guys. You can see it's downloaded. And if we open up the file, or at least open up the file path, we should be able to see it on our system here. Probably goes right to our downloads folder. And it did look like it opened up the folder. It's not mounted, though, but you can see it's on our system. Looks like it... Let me actually go ahead and close out of here. Because I actually have the um, ISO file burned to a DVD, and it's recognized in our... Um, optical drive but this is our download that we just downloaded directly from Microsoft you can see it right here right click on it and then we select where it says properties it'll tell us how large it is so about 5.12 gigabytes in size so again this will vary a little bit obviously depending on what version of Windows 11 some it'll go up maybe a little bit down but but generally the ballpark's about 5 gigabytes and then, like I said, at this point, if you want to burn it to a DVD or USB flash drive, you can. But pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.